welcome to a new video. So this is going to be a weekend readathon style of vlog. So I will be doing a 48 hour readathon with my patrons from today all the way through until Sunday. And I'm really, really excited because I want to try and read as much as I can. I will be staying at my parents' house for the weekend watching the pugs. And I am just planning to stay in with lots of cups of teas and reading lots of books. So hopefully we can do that. Okay, Jodie from the future here, just cutting in to thank the sponsor of today's video, who is Ren. So I'm super excited to be working with Ren because I've said before I'm quite picky with sponsorships and when they reached out to me, I was really, really excited because the work that Ren does is actually super important to all of us and I think just something that is amazing that we can all get involved with and can help with climate change, which is why I'm really happy to talk about Ren and the work that they do. So basically, REN is a website that helps you calculate your own carbon footprint and gives you ways to offset it by funding a diverse mix of different projects such as tree planting, mineral weathering and rainforest protection. So you basically just complete this quiz and fill out some questions about your lifestyle and REN will tell you what your carbon footprint is and ways that you can reduce it. I, for example, am trying to reduce my meat consumption and use more public transport where I can rather than driving my car and I also try to walk places more often. But Reducing your carbon footprint to zero is basically impossible, so you can offset what you have left after reducing. The rent allows you to make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint by funding carbon reduction projects and gives you updates on those projects. So you can see what your money is being spent on with photos and details on every tree that's planted, every acre reforested, and every ton of carbon that's offset. REN is a simple and effective way to make a difference in the climate crisis. Of course, it will take a lot to end the climate crisis, but you can start helping today by learning more at REN.co. So obviously, climate change can be really, really scary to think about, and it can be very daunting and overwhelming to try and figure out ways that you can obviously help with it. A lot of climate change is due to these huge corporations and specific countries that produce huge amounts of carbon, and yes they are responsible are they really doing anything to stop it or prevent it no but it does give me comfort knowing that we are able to do things that can contribute towards reducing climate change and helping so rent is a really amazing way for you to figure out your own carbon footprint to find out ways you can reduce it and to also support the multitude of different projects that they currently do that do make a real difference so i'm really interested in the community tree planting one because this has also had a positive effect on farmers as well in different countries also said that 50% of the leaders of these projects were also women which is amazing and there's just been so many positive things come out of it as you guys can probably see what I've shown on the screen planting all of these trees benefits farmers as well because they can be paid for it and it obviously helps communities support one another as well and also has a lot of social positive impacts as well as being good for the climate so this is a project that I found to be super super interesting but there are so many amazing different projects that Ren are currently part of so yes make sure you guys do go and check out Ren's website if you are interested in anything I've talked about or want to find out ways you can help or just interested in your own carbon footprint and the first 100 people who use the link either in my description box or in the pinned comment will have an extra 10 trees planted in their name so yes make sure you go and check out Ren and thank you so much Ren for sponsoring my video and for reaching out to me I am so incredibly honored to be able to work with such an amazing company who does such a positive thing for the world so yes i'll have everything you need to know linked down below in the description box but let's get back to the video if you've watched my last couple of vlogs you guys will know that i'm currently in a reading slump with physical books however i have been reading so much manga recently so i want to continue to read a lot of manga this weekend but i want to actually read some books because i haven't picked a book up for the entirety of february and we are now halfway through the month and i still haven't so yeah i definitely want to change that so as you can probably see behind me i have brought a lot of books just for a weekend but it's because i couldn't decide what i wanted to read so i thought i'd just bring everything and choose so i did post in my discord server to see what everybody thought i should read from the pile so i guess i will wait to see what everyone says because i just don't know what to read so i think first off i'll just go through the stuff that i know for sure i want to get to during this weekend and then 
sort through everything else but yeah this is going to be a cozy weekend reading vlog i'm really really excited and fingers crossed we get a lot of reading done okay so i may as well talk about this which will be a reread if i do decide to read it which is a core thorns and roses you all know this is my favorite series of all time um so yeah i haven't done my reread of the series for so long like i don't even think i did my reread last year and i always reread this but i just didn't get around to it last year and i really really want to so this series is usually what gets me out of a reading slump. Rereading your favourite books is one of the best things to do to get out of a reading slump. So I'm debating picking this up and rereading this. I don't know for sure yet because I have so many books I do want to get to. But we may reread this and it will be fun to kind of visit all my annotations. Because as you guys can see, there are a lot of tabs in here. Um, but yeah, I may reread this. We'll see. I brought it just in case. <laughs> And a book I definitely do want to get to is this one here, which is The Demon's Bargain by Katie Roberts. All I know is that this is like a standalone little novella. I don't know anything else about it. I just know it's fantasy romance. And I thought this would be perfect for this readathon because it's super short and I love fantasy romance. And Katie Roberts is known for really, really good fantasy romance. So yeah, I think this is a romance between a demon and this like human and she must make a bargain with him i guess and yeah it just sounds really good i love the cover as well so i definitely will be reading this during this readathon so let's talk about the manga and graphic novel stack here so i definitely want to finish horror volume five i'm already just over halfway through this so i definitely can and then if i'm still in the mood for it then i'll definitely pick up the next volume which is volume six this is a romance slice of life manga series it also has an anime and it's just so friggin adorable i honestly love it so much it's so cute and yeah i just really want to continue on with the manga so i may pick up this one as well but i'll definitely be finishing this and it should be fun then another manga that i've already started which i may pick up is spikes family volume two so i'm only a tiny bit of the way through this this one i might pick up and just finish drawing this readathon because why not but i'm not really sure because i would love to get to yona of the dawn but do i want to start yet another manga series you know what i mean like i really want to read this but i'm already in the middle of so many series so i don't know but we do have yona of the dawn which is a manga series about this princess who's kind of forced out of her kingdom and yeah there's romance there's the four dragons and it's just so good i watched the anime for this recently and i loved it and I've been meaning to read the manga for so long. So hopefully I can get to this during this readathon. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe. So then we have a Love in Focus, which is a big omnibus um, complete collection. This is another kind of romance manga. So we may pick this up. I'm just gonna be really quick here. Um, but I definitely do want to try and get to these because I started reading this this week. I read volume one and two this past week, and I love this manga series. It's actually um I can't remember what it's called, it begins with K, I think. Or is it Man Manha? i can't remember i think this is korean manga so let me just double check i can't remember what they're called because it's not actually manga it's like got a different different title so yeah it's man manhwa i think is what you call it so it says that it's general korean term for comics and print cartoons um so yeah this is korean and it has full color inside it as well and it's almost like a comic book I read volumes 1 and 2 and I honestly just love this so much. It's kind of like rooting for the underdog, following a character from being extremely weak to becoming extremely powerful. The world is really cool in here. There's monsters and hunters. I just really, really like it and I love the art style. And I flew through the first two volumes and gave them five stars. So I definitely do want to read these ones. Um, and then we just have some others here, which I want to get to. So we have Black Paradox by Junji Ito. We have the two graphic novels. This one I'm definitely going to read. Um, and then for books. So I know this is all super long but i do want to get to as much as i can so these are all of my options here now i will probably only read one of these full novels maybe two it depends um but it's mostly fantasy so i have the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadbent this is a fantasy romance with vampires and i am leaning towards this one but it's like 400 pages and i just don't know if i want a super long book when i'm in a slump we've got my patreon buddy read of the month which is emily wells encyclopedia of fairies i would like to at least start this one again it's like a cozy fantasy and it's kind of romance but not but i'm not sure if i'm in the mood for that and um, we have divine rivals by rebecca ross which is a rivals to lovers a fantasy story um and this one i have very very briefly started i've read like the first two chapters so we may continue with that um, we have more fancy romance so we've got frost dance of the fae prince and ruthless villain so these are just really like fun fancy romance reads i could probably fly through so maybe one of those and then i have secretly yours by tess bailey and x's and o's by amy lee 
Um, so these are just two romance books. Sorry if you can hear any grunting, by the way. It'll be Toby. Um, but yeah. So I have those romances. And then I have a poetry book by Nikita Gill. So these are all of the options I have. Um, so I think for this, rather than setting like an actual TBR of what I want to read, I think this is just going to be a weekend of mood reading. And I'll just pick from all of the books I've just talked about. Um, I feel like it'll be more fun and... I feel like then it's less pressure for me to read specific books during this weekend and just keep it nice and fun. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that I just talked through so many books and I haven't actually said exactly what I'll be reading. But because I'm in a slump, I think I do need to mood read and just pick up whatever takes my fancy. Um, I'm very, very, very tempted to reread A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm not going to lie. Like I really do want to pick this up and maybe it'd be a good idea because I am in a slump. But I might start with like graphic novels and manga first to ease myself into the readathon. So I haven't actually started yet. I think I'm going to start it maybe at 4pm and it's currently 315 So I think if I start at 4pm then I can hopefully make a good amount of progress tonight and get lots of reading done. But I am really, really excited. So I'm sorry for the long intro, um, but welcome to a cute, cosy weekend reading vlog with all of the good vibes. I'm just really, really excited. And I think as well, I'm gonna watch some anime this weekend and just have a really fun time. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be like a self-care weekend, which will be nice. So yes, anyways, I'm gonna go. I need to do some emails and editing before the readathon starts. And then I will sit down with a book. So I will catch up with you guys soon. Hopefully either with a reading update or with some kind of idea of what I'm gonna start reading. Now that's everything. And yeah, welcome to another vlog. So a little update, um, I have started rereading A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm only on chapter three, so I'm not very far in at all. Um, sorry about the lighting as well. Um, so yeah, I'm on chapter three, which is page 21. Um, and I've been like adding some extra annotations, which is fun. So yeah, that's all I've done <laughs> so far. So I think I'm gonna make some food and then sit and read some more of this book and just see how I get on with like rereading it. Um, and then I think I might get a bath tonight and just have like a nice chilled relaxing evening before I like Hardcore read tomorrow and Sunday So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just like really really sleepy and like Still trying to ease myself into the reading mood So I think a nice bubble bath will be a really really good for me. So I think that's what I'm gonna do um, I do have a little bit of work I need to do as well this evening. But yeah, I did decide to start rereading Ektar. I don't know if you're sure if I'll stick with it. I might pick another book up. I really don't know, but I want to like get a decent way through it this evening and then see how I feel and if I want to continue reading it or pick up like a new book that I haven't read before. But I'm enjoying it so far. I just like get so angry in the first two chapters because I just cannot stand Nesta. Like 
I get in A Court of Silver Flames if you've read it, like we have so much like character progression there and like, you know, things that explain like her behaviours and we learn loads about her and like her mental state and stuff and that's fine. But there is still no excuse for the things that happen in the first two chapters of this book. The way she talks to Feyre and just how selfish and awful she is, mental health like and that are two separate things like you can't blame everything on that and i think like although yes she does suffer with issues as do i um there's you can still be a bitch like she is just a bitch as well like she's just not a very nice person um and i just yeah that's my personal opinion unless i know people feel differently about her but like for me you can see clearly where it's down to mental health and other issues and where it's just her awful personality and that she is just a bitch like to figure out. I'm really selfish and disgusting. So yeah, it makes me really angry when I read the first two chapters, even like how her father is and how her mother was with her when she was younger and just all of it. <laughs> I'm getting very, very like heated about this, but I have strong feelings. Um, and we haven't even got to Tamlin yet. Um, but yeah, like, just the way her family generally have treated her it just makes me so mad. Like, I always feel this every time I reread this book. And, like, it just annoys me. And yes, I know it's not real. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm on chapter three. I'm going to go make some food. And then I think I will probably get a nice hot bubble bath and read this book in the bath and just relax. Um, so yes, those are my updates and my plans and yeah, I will catch up with you guys soon. I just wanted to let you know that I finally did start reading something. So it is Saturday and I didn't really <laughs> end up reading or vlogging that much last night. Like, I'm just going to keep it real and be honest. I just was so tired. I did get a bath and I did take my books in the bath with me thinking, yeah, I'll do some reading. But instead I watched Netflix and I continued my rewatch of my favourite show ever, my ultimate comfort show, which is called Falling Into Your Smile. It's a Chinese drama and... It's just my favorite like ever like i just love it so much and i started re-watching it um which was not a good idea um because once i start i can't stop and i stayed up in the end until about 4 30 in the morning watching loads of episodes last night tilly so i'm really tired today <laughs> but i just did not feel like reading like i just really wanted to relax so i think that's fine like you know it's all cool um and yeah i said this would be like a weekend reading vlog so it's all good i might keep this vlog going till monday i'm not sure but yeah i started reading this book this morning which is katie roberts the demons a bargain so i'm about halfway through this and i am enjoying it so far it's just a little novella so obviously it's nothing like too groundbreaking or anything and it's quite fun i mean we're kind of through straight into the story and it does have spice in it already and it is good i do really like the writing style and i'm enjoying it it's just fun for what it is it's just a really quick short story and it's definitely well written enough that you can get a sense of the world and the characters without all the build up and the world building because it is so short and i think that katie robert has done a very good job of doing that so that you still understand what is happening but you don't need all this backstory and world building so yeah i'm really really enjoying it and it's fun so far but it's basically kind of um a witch and a monster or a demon romance essentially is what this is yeah it's a fun time so far halfway through it definitely gonna finish this and then i did start rereading a court of thorns and roses yesterday so i'm either going to continue with that or start a new book and then i want to make my way through some graphic novels and manga today as well i'm really sorry about the lighting by the way the lighting's so weird in here today 
tried to move the camera. The camera's made the lighting better, but it just is not making it any better, so I'm really sorry. But yeah, I definitely do want to get through like a lot of manga today, graphic novels that I've got my TBR, and then once I finish this book, start another book. So I think I might start Frost or Ruthless Villains or continue with Avatar. But I'm not really sure. But I am really, really tired today from staying and watching that show last night. Sorry if you can hear any sounds, by the way. Toby has decided now's a good time to groom himself. So that's fun. But yeah, I think I'm going to watch some YouTube because I feel like I need to be inspired. And watching some booktube always makes me feel motivated and inspired. I just feel like at the moment I want to create content and vlogs. But like, I feel like I've lost my mood. <laughs> so... I feel like I need to be re-inspired and watching like my favourite booktube channels always helps me. So I think I'm going to do that as well and then we shall continue on with the reading. I don't want to like, I'm not in a rush really to be reading like crazy amount of books and be like, oh my god, I read like 10 books this weekend. And, like I'm not bothered about how many books I read, I just want to read. So that's what this vlog is, it's just going to be nice and chill um, and hopefully you guys are still enjoying it anyway. Um, I guess this is like a more realistic vlog of what it's like to do a readathon when you're still kind of in a slump and in a weird little bit of like a rut I guess um because yeah obviously like I know like I do booktube and you know I love reading I'm a bookseller but like I still get reading slumps like there's still times where I don't want to read or oh, I just can't find the right book for my mood like it happens to everyone so yeah like i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that i just constantly read loads of books because i don't um but yeah anyways i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and watch some booktube and finish this and then decide what i want to read next so yeah at the moment this is giving like three stars i would say but i definitely want to read the other like little novels in the series i think there's another two and i reserved one of them at the bookstore in the city which i might go and get maybe on monday um, which I think is like a selkie one and then there's another one which is the dragon's bride I definitely do want to read both of them because these are really fun. I really like short stories Yeah, I do need to go finish this so the lighting's going really really weird. So yeah, I'm gonna go before the lighting gets even weirder um, So goodbye for now Okay, hi guys. So it's a little bit later now in the day and I just finished reading this book. I'm gonna give it 2.5 stars, but round up to a three in Goodreads. I did enjoy this and it was like a fun read. Thank you, Tilly. I did enjoy this and it was a fun read and I did like the world as well, but I don't know, like I have mixed feelings. Obviously, you know, a lot needed to be done in such a short book like it is like a novella and um, it's only over 100 pages so obviously you know the author had to try and like fit in an entire plot and whatnot which i do think they did well however basically this takes place over like two days basically and within like a full day of knowing each other they're already like kind of thinking they love each other sort of like and it's like you've known each other for a day like I don't know I guess it, maybe it's different with demons and witches but like the fact that like their entire romance like happens within like two days and they go from like strangers to like together in such a short period is just a bit you know I was just kind of like mm, okay um so it is kind of insta-lovey in a way and it's just one of those where the character is like 
sat on this one mindset of no this isn't gonna happen and then the next minute it's like yeah okay like there's no kind of you know real build up or like flow between these two different like mindsets that the character has um so that's the reason for a low rating um but yeah this does have really good representation as well one of the main characters in here is non-binary which i didn't know and i really did enjoy that element of the story as well and it was just a really really good short fantasy romance it does have some spice in it and it was really interesting however i will say as well and the critique i have with this is kind of the main thing that we're trying to get to for the entire plot of this story like the main kind of climax of it is over so so fast so it felt very like lackluster like i felt dissatisfied with it and yeah like that was another thing why i had to rate it down so i'm not saying this is bad and 2.5 stars is by no means a bad rating like you know it's 50 50 i had fun reading this it's a really fun short fancy romance story so if you're looking for something short then this is definitely a good one to pick up and i would still recommend it if you like a spicy read as well it's just a bit fun so yeah i did finish this this is the first book i've actually finished so i think next i think i might pick up like a manga or graphic novel and keep like just like slowly easing into like the readathon um i'm not too sure what actual book i want to read i might pick up frost which is like i think a fey fantasy romance i think um or we might just continue with actor i'm really not entirely sure what i'm in the mood for book wise but i think i'm gonna pick up heartless prince maybe next because i'm really excited to read this the art style looks so gorgeous i just really really love it um and yeah like it just looks like something i'm gonna like it's giving um I think her name is Emma Carroll. Something Carroll is like the illustrator, I think. The author, I think, that I like who's done some like spooky, creepy kind of graphic novels that I really, really enjoyed. And this is like giving me the same vibe. So I'm really, really excited to read this. And hopefully it is good. It definitely does look very, very spooky and a bit gothic. So yeah, I think this follows like an orphaned princess, I think. And there's a prince. That's kind of all I know. So, yeah, I feel like this will be a nice one to read next. And then at some point, I definitely do want to get to Black Paradox by Junji Ito, which is one of the most recent releases from Junji Ito. I've got this upside down. It's been like a couple of months since I read anything by Junji Ito. So I'm definitely in the mood. And um, this is a horror manga and it has some color illustrations at the back, which I'm excited about as well. Um, so I think this has maybe like three stories in it. I'm not actually sure. Um, but I think it's split into like parts. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this. So I definitely do want to read both of these. And then I need to decide what other books I'm going to read. And hopefully get to some manga. But yeah, I know I've only finished this so far. But it's all good. Um, so I'm going to decide on my next read. And then I'll update you guys in a little while once I've done that. Um, I still want to watch some YouTube. I haven't done that yet, but I definitely do want to watch some YouTube. That is all of my updates. Um, not very many, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. <laughs> I did finish 
these two. Did I already film an update on this? I don't know. Um, but I read the Heartless Prince graphic novel and I gave this three stars. Oh, it's hilly. Why must she play with a plastic bottle right this instant? As soon as I turn the camera on, she decides to play with a plastic bottle on the floor. So as I was saying, I gave this three stars. This had a really good concept and the art style was really, really beautiful. And the witchy vibes were there. However, it just fell flat. The ending was so rushed and this reads like it should be a series, but it's not. And the ending is just kind of... Like, I just don't see the point in adding this like specific panel in there because it leaves it open to being like a series when it isn't. I don't know, I just, I don't know, it just wasn't what I thought it was. It was really rushed, like the main climax was just over so fast and there was just so much that could have been done with this story that there just wasn't. It's basically about this kingdom and even the beginning's very rushed, like this baby's like rescued and it's like a princess from like another kingdom or something who gets taken in by like this kingdom and then it goes to them being all grown up and they hunt like familiars which are really bad creatures like evil you know pets for witches essentially and then like the prince's heart gets stolen so she needs to try and rescue the prince's heart and the princess and there's like a little bit of a plot twist which was kind of like underwhelming the way it was just revealed like that um and then like yeah just nothing really happens with that like this big plot twist we find out which is very underwhelming and like what happens as a result of it was very underwhelming and it was just kind of disappointing like this had so much promise and the way this cover is as well like this is very misleading i thought this would be like a really nice romantic story and it just is not at all and yeah i was just kind of disappointed with it but i did really enjoy the art style and i did kind of like the vibes i just feel like if this was flushed out as like you know quite a good story across maybe like a few volumes it would be really good but yeah i decided to give it three stars but i would say it's a low three stars because it just felt very weak but sorry again if you can hear snoring it's my pug um but yeah the art style definitely saved it and yeah it was a very interesting concept so i did still give it three stars um, and i would still recommend it if you like witchy graphic novels and definitely pick this up um but i did read that and then i finished the rest of solo leveling volume three i started this the other day um, so I did finish this, gave it five stars, like the first two volumes. I'm just loving this manga series so much. It is just so good. It is just non-stop action. And I think if you're a gamer, you would absolutely love this because if like our main character is leveling up, like he's in a game, but like it's not a game, it's like real, but it's hard to explain. But if you're a gamer, you would absolutely love this. I'm not a gamer and I still love it, but I feel like you would definitely appreciate it if you are a gamer. It's just so good. I love rooting for the character and I love how in this third volume, it wasn't as easy as like the first and second volume were to an extent. Like our main character faces a lot of challenges, yes, and like problems, but after he starts leveling up, it's like he can't lose, he just keeps winning. And it started to get a bit tiring. Like I still loved it, but I was like, when is he actually gonna like lose or like face a real challenge? When is something different gonna happen? When's the plot gonna change? Um, and I feel like that started to happen in the third volume like another plot point has been introduced now That's obviously going to take effect in the fourth or fifth volume And then we also found out more about the leveling up thing um, our main character finally I would say got like a real challenge and Is questioning more about himself and what this leveling up thing is so I really like this one I feel like this is like a turning point now in the story and I'm just really really enjoying it and I just love this This is called a Oh, I searched just yesterday and I might have already said it. It's like a, a me, Miwa, I think, or something. Um, let me figure out what it's actually called. So it's called a Manwa. So this is actually a Manwa, which is a Korean um, a manga, essentially. It's in full colour, which is something else I love. This colour, like, it's just so good. I love the art style for this. It's just like amazing. I don't know. I just love this series so much already. Definitely one of my favourites I've read so far. So I'm hoping to still read volume four and five. Hopefully tonight or tomorrow. So far I have only read these. Which I thought I would have like read yesterday. And probably then some as well. But obviously this is all I've gotten to so far. But it's fine. Still enjoying my time. I'm trying to decide what to read next. Because I don't know how to continue on with Akhtar or not. Or read something new. Um, and I, I'm debating potentially maybe these two because I don't know if I should read romance, but I feel like maybe fancy romance would be 
more fun but i don't know i have frost and ruthless villains this is like a morally gray um romance between two villains and like um them battling off against like the heroes and then this one frost is like another fancy romance and i think it's between human and like a faking um and she has to enter this tournament or something something like that i don't know but they're both short ish but i want something that is like extremely fast paced and that like i can just sit and binge read but i'm not sure which of the two i posted in a discord to see if anyone's read these and which one they think i should read but i may start one of these and maybe just read like the first couple of chapters see if i'm vibing with it or not and if i'm not then i will probably just go back to actor and just reread that i did download the audiobook for it as well because i've never actually listened to the audiobook for the series before and i actually really want to so i was thinking i could probably follow along with the audiobook as well for actor which would be fun but yeah that is all of my like reading updates and things like that um jamie is coming over to hang out i guess for like an hour or two um i think i already said this but i'm at my parents for the weekend like house sitting and dog sitting the pugs and obviously jamie's at home with our cats so he's coming over for a bit i probably don't read while he's here but i think once he's gone i'm gonna get another bubble bath because the bath at my house is currently broken so i am trying to take full advantage of being at my parents and using their bath plus my parents bath is the best like it's just so good and if you know me you know i love baths i spend so much time in the bath and i love reading in the bath so i feel like i'm gonna go in the bath again tonight but yeah anyway that's all of my updates and stuff um i am gonna go and maybe make dinner or just figure out like where jamie is because he should be here soon hopefully do some reading but i still need to read um black paradox as well by junji ito and i think i want to read this tonight or maybe i'll read solo leveling volume four tonight i'm not really sure but i'm definitely in the mood for some Gito, so maybe we'll get to this tonight i i honestly like don't mind if i mostly just read graphic novels and manga during this readathon as long as i'm reading but i did really want to get out of my slump when it comes to books this weekend so i feel like i do need to read i just can't figure out the book for me at the moment like it's one of those i need the perfect book and i just don't know what that is um but anyways i'm gonna go because i'm just rambling for no reason now so i will catch up with you guys later once i have maybe a reading update or something um if not i'll chat with you guys in the morning but yes anyways goodbye okay hi guys so i'm now back home and we're gonna continue with the readathon slash reading vlog so i do have reading updates but i need to grab the box so i'm pretty sure this is all i read last night i think um which is so leveling volume four five stars again to be honest i kind of have the exact same thoughts as i did for book three because i feel like every single volume is kind of the same thing the only difference is with this one again i feel like our main character definitely faced more challenges than in the first two and there were other characters and i guess a new plot line introducing to here so we had another character introduced who's definitely going to make a huge impact on the next volume i think and i don't want to give spoilers but it's definitely exciting and i feel like this specific character entering the story now and saying what they said has opened up this whole other realm of possibilities with regards to our main character and where the story is going to go and i'm so excited to see what happens in the next volume um but i would say at the same time it is still quite repetitive but i'm still having such a fun time reading it my camera's about to die i'm gonna go and change the battery i will be right back so yeah i kind of do feel like the same way but i'm just loving this story and the world so much and i don't even know why like i think it's the art style and just like i love like rooting for someone to become stronger get like cool powers to be like the strongest out of everyone like that is like my favorite thing and that's definitely where this is heading and i'm excited because i feel like these volumes are leading up now to like a big plot i don't feel like we've even started the plot yet if that makes sense like we have but i feel like it's gonna go somewhere else and we're actually gonna see like all of these abilities put to use in like a new plot line in the future volumes so i'm really really excited about that so i have volume five to read which i may read today i'm not sure volume six isn't out for a few months i don't think but yeah really really excited 
to continue on with this and again another amazing read just so happy that i did read this one and then i don't know if i already mentioned this but i did start frost but i didn't read that much i kind of just crashed again last night i was just so tired i started another k drama i started watching um i think it's called love to hate you on netflix which i finished because <laughs> i binged it all which is why i've done no reading but i really really enjoyed it it was just a really really fun k drama it's it was nothing new i'm not gonna lie it was kind of like um it reminds me of I Married the Anti Fan, like it was kind of like that kind of vibe, if you've seen that. But yeah, I really, really liked it. It was really fun. But yeah, anyways, I did start reading A Frost. So I got a bath and started reading this book and I'm only on chapter five, which is page 37. But I'm really liking it so far. It's really like easy reading and I really like our main character so far and the world. I'm interested to see where the story's gonna go. I feel like it's not really gonna be anything too new, but I just feel like this is gonna be fun. Um, so not a lot has really happened just yet, but I'm just kind of vibing. <laughs> But I'm just kind of like vibing with the story and getting to know the characters in the world so far. So I don't really have much to say because it is still kind of setting everything up. But basically our main character has just caught her boyfriend cheating on her. And to make it even worse, she's been like paying for his mortgage and everything because he was going to help her out in the future. Obviously that's not going to happen now. And he is a He's basically said like, you should be happy for me. Like I found someone I love more than you. Like, you should be happy for me. You know, and all this stuff. And it's just like, ew, like... Ugh. so yeah um don't know why my phone's like blowing up not really sure what that's about but yeah anyways that's pretty much what's happened and she's in this bar she's drunk and then this fey prince who needs to marry someone and is like holding this competition um it's like a tradition where loads of fey women have to compete in order to win his hand in marriage essentially um and they don't know i think that it's to do with like a curse and he has to marry he doesn't really want to and he bumps into her and she's not one of the people he's chosen to compete in this competition she's like really really rude to him <laughs> and it's so funny and she like puts him in his place and he's like well at least you're not you know competing so you don't need to worry about anything blah blah but then like when he gets back to his like apartment kingdom place he can't stop thinking about the interaction and then he kind of thinks of a plan and feels like she will be the solution to the problem he has so then he's kind of like hmm maybe i should get her to compete and that's kind of where i'm up to so yeah it's still setting everything up i am enjoying it so far it's really really fun i'm excited to see what's going to happen in this um so i do plan to read this today i don't think i'll finish this all in one day because i have so many other things to do today and i've just filmed a video and it's now almost like 3 p.m so <laughs> not the best but it's fine like i said i'm this is just more of a realistic chill readathon than a let me actually read as many books as i possibly can readathon if that makes sense so hopefully you guys have still enjoyed it um but yeah i think my main focus is going to be to read this i have been listening to the audiobook for um court thorns and roses as well which is a reread for me i don't know what number reread it is now because i've reread it a few times but um, I've never listened to it on audio before and I kind of want to do that like I love physically reading them but I just want to experience the audiobook so I figured I would do it now um, so I'm only on chapter four of the audiobook so I'm about up to where I was when I started reading it at the start of this vlog physically but I am enjoying it so far I do like the narrator I'm excited to hear like the narration for some of the other characters and especially one character in particular so yeah I'm looking forward to listening to this on audio and I'm having a really fun time so far and I just love that as soon as i like listen to this or start reading it i can picture the world and everything straight away and it's just so fun like i was listening to it a little bit this morning while i made some breakfast and i was just picturing like Feyre and her sisters walking in the market and meeting the mercenary at the start and it was just like so good like i just love being back in this world like i'm so happy and yes i am wearing this hoodie again like i am living in this hoodie okay this hoodie cost me like 100 pounds with shipping so i'm gonna wear it every day okay so don't come for me for wearing the same clothes all the time um but yeah i am wearing this again um but yeah anyway i'm just really really enjoying the audiobook so hopefully i can make a little bit more progress with that realistically i'm probably not going to finish any of the books today i don't think just because i do have so much work to do and i'm kind of stressed um so yeah anyways i just want to update this vlog um i'm gonna go now make myself a cup of tea and i think i am gonna sit down and read some of this before i do some work so yeah i will catch up with you guys in a little while but yeah that's all my updates <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to be held right now, but this is Lila, the newest member of our family, the newest resident of my library. Hey, say hello. <laughs> so yeah, I just realised I didn't officially introduce you guys to Lila. So yeah, Lila is 
our new cat. She's two years old, just a little bit older than Frankie. Um, and we recently adopted her. Uh, so yeah. So there's Lila. So yeah, we recently technically adopted her. She was being rehomed by someone I know. So we decided to take her in because we wanted to get Frankie a friend. Well, I did for a while. Um, just because he is a house cat. So I wanted him to have like a friend to play with, to cuddle with, to fight with, just to keep him stimulated as well. And yeah, so... We set to get Lila and we were very very careful about how we introduced them we kept them separated for a while and then we used like this you can get like a mesh zip up thing for your door so we used that so they could like see each other but couldn't actually contact each other and then we slowly introduced them um and like did like scent swapping and stuff and like Frankie was constantly crying to get into the room to see her and stuff when he knew she was there and so after a few days we did just let them meet each other and they haven't fought once it's been like over a week now i think and yeah they got on really well and um, they don't cuddle or anything yet both of them are quite independent solitary cats anyway who like their own space but they play with each other and stuff and they follow each other around and they do get on and yeah it's just really really nice to see Frankie have a little friend so yes that is Lila <laughs> um I will obviously include her in vlogs so you'll see her more and you'll get to know her personality like you guys have with Frankie I know you love Frankie so I did want to introduce her because I haven't actually been able to just yet but yes that little cat right there is Lila um I don't know where Frankie is I think Frankie's sleeping in our bedroom at the moment Frankie! Yeah, Frankie doesn't want to come right now um but yeah anyway I did just want to introduce you guys to Lila so that is Lila um so yeah we have two little kitties now i'm gonna tidy up my library room a little bit and then i'm gonna sit and read some more frost frankie here's frankie <laughs> and here's oh frankie <laughs> doesn't want to be held right now um but yes there's frank so frankie's also in here probably about to start trying to wind her off he's hiding under my um footrest <laughs> lila's just she's so unbothered by him it's actually funny like she's a really really chill cat i mean frankie's a chill cat too if he's a bit feisty whereas lila's just so chill like she just does not care she's so unbothered but yeah frankie seems happy enough so yeah i'm glad that we decided to get lila and she is very very loved already so yes we do have another little kitty as well as our frankie but yeah like i said i'm gonna go and clean my library room a little bit and then I'm gonna sit in my reading chair do some reading sip my tea and then I need to do some work in a bit um but yeah anyways goodbye <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
this is totally unrelated to this vlog but i just thought about it because i filmed an unboxing video earlier and i forgot to show these in the video so i figured i'd show it in this vlog um so as you guys may see there's some new throne of glass covers that came out and i did get them so i figured i'd show you guys them because i am obsessed with them and they're so pretty and i don't even know what number this is in my collection now of throne of glass probably like my fifth set um but anyways i thought i'd show you them first off let's appreciate the spines because they're gorgeous um they're not staying here i need to reorganize like my entire sewj mask collection because as you can see it's pretty full and yeah i need more space for it and i have like another three-ish dust jacket sets on the way at some point this year that are all on pre-order so there will be more to go on here so i definitely do need to do a reorganize but they're here for now so i'll just quickly show you them so we have assassin's blade which is so gorgeous let's throw in a glass oh i i didn't like these at first and i still prefer the like og covers but these are really nice um crown of midnight hair of fire queen of shadows so pretty empire of storms i don't know what's my favorite i think maybe like this but i'm not sure i can't really decide on a favorite um tower of dawn this is my least favorite i hate this color i don't like orange <laughs> and then we have the kingdom of ash which i do really like this cover so i don't know what my favorite is so let me know in the comments what your favorite cover is i like the color scheme for this one the most but i love like this on this one um so i really don't know what my favorite is but i love the color scheme for this one um but yeah i did want to show these because they're beautiful um so yeah i have that set i have this set and i also have this set and this set and the mini editions the uk paperbacks i have some of the us paperbacks these editions and these editions of throne of glass and then i do have some custom dust jackets on the way as well um but they have not arrived yet um but yeah i did want to show them off because i just love them so much and i know you guys like see and stuff like that in my videos um but yeah anyways i'm gonna go back to arena okay hi guys so it's a lot later and i'm just here to quickly wrap up this vlog um because i need to go to bed it's super late i have work tomorrow i'm up at 5 a.m and i have been working all day and night I didn't end up doing that much more reading. I read a bit more of Frost. I don't even know where the book is, but I am a bit further in now. I think I'm almost 100 pages and I'm definitely enjoying it and I'm excited to see where the story continues to go. But I don't really have any other thoughts other than that because I feel like it's still getting started, you know? Like, I don't really feel like we're in the plot just yet. Um, so yeah i don't really have any new thoughts on it but yeah i just want to wrap up with this vlog because i just finished editing it and i need to submit it for review <laughs> and yeah like i said i need to go to bed so i hope you guys did enjoy the vlog let's do a quick little wrap up of what i read was this vlog slash readathon successful kind of no but at the same time yes because i did read stuff um just not what i wanted to and as much as i wanted to but i did still have a really nice chilled cozy weekend and i think that's what matters i needed a nice relaxed weekend um so even though i didn't do loads of reading i still feel good because i did some reading i watched some k dramas some anime and i just like chilled out which was really really nice and just what i needed so i mean i guess this is still like you know a fun readathon just not really a reading challenge i guess um but i did read these four books here um so yes i did read only one actual book which was the novella which i wanted to read like a lot of books this weekend like i said and get out of my slump but i'm still happy that i read one like this is an improvement this is a huge deal i read something other than manga for the first time in like weeks so it's all good so, yeah i did read this this was 2.5 stars um this is a novella i would say and it's basically a romance between like a demon and a witch but more like a monster vibe to it it has really good representation there's non-binary rep in here and i just enjoyed kind of the world and how the author had wrote the world and the characters but it was just kind of not doing it for me um it's very very insta lovey 
um and then like i said the whole kind of climax of the plot was just done like that and too rushed for me i understand it's a short book but it just didn't really do it for me um so it was a 2.5 stars but i did round up to three stars on goodreads but i do still want to read the other like little novellas in this series because i do enjoy like short stories like this um and i'm still interested in the world and the other stories because it did mention some other characters in here which i believe like the other novellas follow so that would be really really fun to read about if you're looking for like a nice short fantasy romance and this would definitely like tick the boxes for you so yeah i did manage to finish this one and then i did read a graphic novel which was heartless prince this one i gave three stars but it was a very low three stars um again this just disappointed me i've already kind of covered it when i finished it in the vlog but this just disappointed me it was really really kind of sad because it has so much potential and promise like it was there and it just wasn't executed very well in my opinion the art style gorgeous the witchy vibes gorgeous but everything else just fell flat i really thought this would be quite romantic and it wasn't at all um so i feel like the cover is misleading and the title as well like it is misleading um to a point <laughs> um but yeah it was just very rushed um it didn't really read like a standalone graphic novel which is what it is um and there was just so much they could have done with so many things in here that they just didn't so unfortunately i was a bit disappointed by this one but it was still enjoyable so i gave it a low three stars and then i did read volumes three and four of solo leveling so i didn't get to volume five unfortunately but i gave both of these five stars this is just such a good series i think i keep forgetting the name of them but i think these are called manoirs so yeah i did really really enjoy both of these this is just such a good series i think if you're maybe looking for something that is a blend of manga and a graphic novel then this is definitely it i think generally korean comic books are a mix of the two and that's what i've kind of like picked up from the ones i have read so this is just so fun if you're looking for something that's like high stakes really fast paced full of action um has gaming references and a really cool like main character that you can't help but root for then this is definitely a series for you i honestly am loving it so much i'm so excited for the anime as well to come out this year and i am just loving this so i'm really excited to read the fifth volume but it kind of sucks i have to wait for the next one um but yeah i did really really enjoy both of these and i'm so glad that i read them and i definitely feel the plot is starting to go somewhere different now which i'm really excited about but yeah that does conclude everything i managed to read during this weekend so so yeah i'm sure maybe in my next week i'm reading vlog i will do more of a challenge and like fly through a lot of books but i'm still really happy with what i read and i guess it doesn't really matter about how many books you read i would say you know quality over quantity but half the books i read weren't very good so i can't really say quality over quantity in this case but i mean i just had a really nice weekend and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my weekend and spending the weekend with me kind of well not really but you know what i mean i hope you guys still enjoyed this vlog anyway and that you had a nice weekend let me know in the comments what you've been up to recently how you're doing what books you've been reading do you have any recommendations have you read any of the books i talked about let me know your thoughts in the comments i love chatting to you guys i might not get back to the comments right away but i always do eventually and i love talking to you in the comments so yeah leave a comment down below or if you don't know what to post and you made it to the end of this video then leave a cat emoji in the comments obviously for our new cat lila hopefully you guys will love her just as much as you adore frankie so yes leave a cat emoji in the comments if you did make it to the end of this video don't forget to check out ren's website i will have it linked down below and pinned at the top of the comment section i would highly recommend that you do it really is such an important topic and it would be amazing if we could all do something to help with climate change yeah so if you're interested in anything like that find out your carbon footprint ways to reduce it or getting involved with any of the projects that ren currently does then you can check out their website and don't forget the first 100 people who do use that link will get 10 trees planted in their name which is amazing so yes i'll have that linked in the description box and once again thank you so much to ren for sponsoring this video but yes thank you guys so much for watching i'll have everything you need linked down below along with the link to my patreon and that's where you find extra content from me such as the monthly readathon that i did for this vlog 
the discord extra videos a monthly body read and so much more it's all over on my patreon i will also link my new instagram that i made i do have a bookstagram which is linked down below but i've recently made a manga and anime dedicated instagram account so if you want to follow that that will be linked down below as well but yes that's everything <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye